The We Are Criminals exhibit in Grand Rapids gives you a peek on how living with a criminal record can be part of your life forever. For this week's In Focus, Haiti Clotter shows us how an exhibit makes you rethink how you view a criminal. We Are All Criminals is not only a bold statement, but it's also the latest exhibit at the McCrosty Arts Center in Grand Rapids. It's based on an organization founded by Emily Baxter that challenges society's perception of criminal records. 75% of the population that doesn't have a criminal record and asking those of us who may have committed an offense but not been caught to reflect on that and think about how our lives might have been different had we been caught, had we been charged. Thief is just one of the many labels criminals may have to live with for the rest of their lives. It also sparks a conversation about second chances when that person is seeking employment or housing. Looking at people as, an as a whole individual and not just at one part of their story in one moment in time that uh, doesn't define who they are. What's your story? That question is answered by visitors who share their personal experiences and allows them to reflect on their past. Anonymous individuals tell stories of crimes they got away with, like criminal damage to property or burglary. The photographs were taken in the participant's home, office, or crime scene. Everyone makes mistakes, but not everyone has to be reminded of that mistake every day. Some of the art featured are submissions from individuals serving time at the Minnesota Correctional Facility in St. Cloud. It can be a means for them to express what they've been through or where they're going. Um, and uh, to help them to cope and maybe to help somebody else to understand uh, what they've been through or what they're going through. Organizations such as Grace House and Itasca Community College also help bring We Are All Criminals to the community. You can view the exhibit until the end of the month. For this week's In Focus, in Grand Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.